So this question we can not use if you don't want me to. Sure. I'm going to just say it now. So Go for it. Did wordplay make you a millionaire? No. <laughs> no, wordplay did not make us a millionaire. Um, we, um, we, it's funny you should ask that because when we, 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 that was our first film and we took it to, we got accepted to Sundance in 2006, took it to the festival and there was a very intense bidding war for that film. Um, we ended up with seven, seven offers on the table from, you know, all the, all the big distributors. Um, and we sold it for a million dollars. We only, we had only spent a little over a hundred thousand dollars to, to get the movie to Sundance. Okay. So we spent a year making it. We spent about a hundred thousand dollars and change to make that cut of the film. And we sold it for a million bucks. And I remember telling our agent at Sundance, our agent is John Sloss from Synetic Media. Um, <clears throat> I said, I'm really worried about selling our film for a million dollars. I'm afraid that, I'm afraid that, you know, we're gonna be one of those infamous films that come out of Sundance, like, oh, they paid too much and that movie underperformed. And like, I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna have all that. I was like, we should sell it for less. He's like, no. He's like, first of all, a million dollars is not that much money for a movie. He's like, you've made a really good film that a lot of people want to see. So that's, that's the right price and, and, you know, and, and you have it. It's, it's, we already have a deal. We, are, we already shook hands on this deal. Um, what I didn't know was that when after Sundance, you know, Sundance is in January and we were in theaters we were in about 500 theaters that summer in June. We, we came out in June later on that year. We had a lot of work to do on the film between selling it and releasing it. We had to film out. We had to pay for that. It was $100,000, over $100,000 to film out. Um, we had to license all the music. We did a lot more graphics. We did a lot more editing. Um, it, I mean, it really started to add up. And by the time we were sitting in the theaters on opening night at the IFC Center in New York City. We had spent a total of almost $700,000. Um, so, do the math. We, we walked away with $300,000. Um, now, that's great. I mean, if I could do that, if I could do that every year, I would do, I would do that every year. Unfortunately, that's, that's, that's not what normally happens. I think on a lot of these films, I mean, I hate to say it because it sounds really discouraging, but I think on a lot of these documentaries, you're lucky even to break even. Um, and what we're finding nowadays is that if you don't have, if you don't have good partners when you go out to make these films, you're really going to be in trouble. Um, on, on this film, we had, on If You Build It, we had great partners. The Sundance was a big partner. Um, the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation. Um, um, Film Independent. Um, um, the Candida Foundation, which is out of the East Coast. Uh, the Wincote Foundation, we did a Kickstarter campaign. Um, we won an Independent Spirit Award. Um, we won the Bright Future Award presented by Unilever Project Sunlight. Um, that was a $25,000 award that we won. Um, I mean, we had an army behind us, really, to make this film. If we didn't have that, we probably wouldn't be sitting here in my house because we probably would have lost our house. We probably would have had to sell our house. I mean, it was so financially challenging for us um, to make this film. Um, Christine and I and our, and our partner, Neil Baer, um, you know, we've, we've been at this a long time. We've been making movies and, and Neil's a tremendously successful uh, television writer and showrunner. Um, and we thought we had it all figured out. And then we made this movie about a small town in North Carolina that took three years to make and it was hard to raise money. I mean, it was challenging. Um, so, you know, wordplay was great. And we made money on that film. And we also sort of launched our film careers at the same time. But I think more often than not, these movies 
you do them for other than financial reasons. Um, and if you are lucky enough to make money on a film, more often than not, you fold that into your next project and it's tied up in the next one. So yeah, it's, it's great. If anyone is thinking about like becoming a millionaire, um, I wouldn't recommend making documentary films because <laughs> it, it's very unusual that that would be the case. It could happen, but mm -hmm. more often than not, it won't. So knowing that there were some times when you could have come close to losing many things, how did you get through that? Were there sleepless nights? Were oh, there yeah. times when you really had to just go for a walk around the block <clears throat> and say, okay, what's my focus? Why am I doing yeah. this? Well, we started making If You Build It in summer of 2010. We were hoping to be, to be done, to have the movie out there at festivals in early 2012. Um, it, it, it took a year longer than we thought. So throughout all of 2012, we were still making the movie. We weren't, you know, releasing it and putting it out in the world. So yeah, it was an extra 12 months that we had not planned on, we had not budgeted for. The story kept going. The editing was harder than we thought it would be because the story was really fairly complex and there were a lot of nuances that took a long time to figure out. Um, and so we spent all of 2012 on this film and we didn't make any money at all, not a penny. We were trying to raise money and we were trying to get other partners, but that had stalled. So it was tough. I mean, that was tough. Um, but, you know, we got through it and, and called in a lot of favors. And, and luckily, we, there was a very happy ending. As soon as the film premiered um, at the uh, Full Frame Film Festival in April of 2013, literally that evening, um, we, we got one partner that brought uh, a very significant grant, very, the biggest grant we got for the project. Um, there was another pro there was another partner that we met through something called Good Pitch, which is a program um, between Brit Docs and Sundance. They 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 do these um, pitches around the world. You bring five films together and their filmmaking teams, and uh, you bring them into a, a theater or an arena, and everyone in the crowd is a, a funder or a foundation or a broadcaster or somebody that might be interested in your project. And we got a very large grant uh, that came out of Good Pitch as well. So, yeah, I mean, it was a squeaker. I don't know how else to say it. It was really hard to get this film done. Um, but we made it, and we love it, so it was worth it.